This is fabulous. This is a live view image of Jupiter through my telescope on my computer screen. Absolutely brilliant. So much gear for one night away. Unbelievable. Hello folks, well today I'm at uh, Blackman's Farm, which is a campsite in Sussex. And the object is to do some planetary astrophotography tonight on uh, Jupiter and Saturn with a bit of luck. And the reason I've come here, rather than doing a wild camp, is that I've got too much gear with me basically. It's not feasible to do a wild camp. And behind me you can see there's a really low southern horizon, which I haven't got at home. So that's why I can't do this video from my backyard. So I'm going to get set up and I shall see you later. My name's John and I make videos for my YouTube channel, The Camping Astronomer, on camping, astronomy and walking. If you enjoy this video, then please check my channel out as you might find others that interest you there. But in the meantime, let's crack on with today's video. That's the tent set up now. And sometimes it's incredible how much stuff you end up with to do a little bit of astrophotography. So you can see why I couldn't backpack this to a wild camp. So I'm using a Beta Hyperion zoom eyepiece uh, just for a little bit of visual before I start doing the photography. And uh, yeah, it looks really, really nice. You can um, see the bands on it and the, the moons on either side. Uh, I don't do much planetary. It's been quite a long time since I've done it. So I'm really, really enjoying this. So the Beta Zoom eyepiece has been replaced by an Altair Astro GP cam, which is basically a planetary camera. It can do a little bit of deep sky stuff, but it's ideally suited as a planetary camera. And if you get dead keen, a guide camera, and that just goes into the star diagonal. I think you probably theoretically it's better to put it, miss the star diagonal out, but then you'd need probably a distance piece, which I haven't got with me. So I'm just taking the eyepiece out and sticking it in here and then we'll get to have a look on the computer. So this is what it's all about. I've got a live view of Jupiter here on my computer. Uh, this is what I find really great about astronomy. It just gives me a kick all the time. As I say, I haven't done this for um, a good two or three years, so I'm uh, extremely rusty. But yeah, what a thrill to see the planet live. You can see the murkiness I'm having to shoot through a lot of atmosphere to uh, get Jupiter because it's dead low at the moment and it's almost like looking through water and this is the reason why we shoot video rather than use a camera because you can take thousands of frames and the computer will pick the ones where it's instantaneously sharp um, and use those to create the image rather than the sort of milky image that you'll see in here. To clearly see the ring here uh, hopefully it's a very kind of murky atmosphere stuff again so I'm hoping that I can get a better result out of it when I've finished with the with the pictures but nonetheless absolutely great I think I'll just sit here looking at this for a little bit you adjust the image by changing the gain and the exposure time on the little control panel here. Uh, the idea is, is to uh, minimise the exposure time, that way you've got a better chance of getting a, a clear shot if you like. Well I think I've got enough footage now to hopefully convert that uh, video into a decent picture um, over the next couple of days. So on the planetary side I'm going to 
call it a halt now. Time for me to get some tea on and it's pretty late actually, it's about 10 o'clock so I'm starving. So it's spicy sausage and pasta followed by chocolate pudding. So I'm going to call it a night now and I think it was a success today but we'll probably have to, until I've processed the images I won't know for sure um, but I had a, a real nice time doing a bit of visual astronomy anyway um, but hopefully we've got some nice pictures so I will uh, say good night now and I'll bring you back once I've done the processing for a little bit of a summing up. Well, I'm back safe from our camping trip now. I'm pleased to say that I did actually get uh, two nice pictures of Jupiter and Saturn. Not award winning, but I'm dead chuffed with them. Uh, they're certainly the best I've taken. Uh, the equipment that I used was my Celestron Nexstar SLT127 telescope. So it's basically a, a sort of five inch diameter telescope. The camera I was using was an Altair Astro GP Cam 2. I think it was the 224 version. So it's a kind of inexpensive one. I think it's about £160 or so. And it basically shot the video for me. I used Altair Capture software to uh, grab the video and alter the gain and the exposure time. Length of video used to create the images was about a two minute run which resulted in around 3,000 individual frames. That video I then put into a free video processing stacking program called Auto Stackert. Uh, you could equally use Registax uh, if that's the um, your choice. Um, and then that resulted in an individual image of Jupiter and an individual image of Saturn which I then put into Photoshop just to tweak up a bit, sharpen some things up, bring out some of the um, vibrancy of the planets. So yeah I was, uh, I was dead pleased with the results so um, I'm going to put them up in just a moment so I hope you like them and yeah I hope you've enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed making it. I had a nice night out camping uh, so it was great and I will uh, see you next time. Cheerio. Well I hope you found that video uh, enjoyable. Uh, if you did it would be great if you could press the like button and maybe make some comments about what you did or didn't like in the comments section below. Uh, if you did enjoy it though, uh, maybe have a look at the other videos on my channel as you may find something of interest to you there. And if so, it would be absolutely fantastic if you could subscribe. That would really help me out. Uh, but in the meantime, I wish you well and cheerio until next time.